Okay, today we're going to do the ignition system on a, uh, a Vespa 400. We've put our pulley on, but we've not put any of the ignition on. First thing we're going to do, we're going to put this piece on. It has, it has a line-up pin. There is a pin here with two holes, so it can only go in, on in one spot. Um, pick it on. Get our little screws and start the screws not all the way down which will help line it up because it'll be lined up because these screws are on a taper which pulls in as you can see it pulled it in there uh, screw it in at the bottom it'll pull it in down there pull it all up nice and flush this has to be really tight, so you'll want to tighten it down. A good way to tighten it up is to use a little hammer and pick on the screw as you turn it. Uh, and then you'll want to put a little divot into the side, into the opening of the screw that's on there. What this does is it kind of uh, keeps the screw from turning to back itself off because the uh, old Vespa motor is uh, kind of shaky when it runs. Okay, we've got this on. We want to set our ignition low bone. Now, the side where the pin is, if you notice your ignition has got a box and a slide. The box end goes where the pin is, the pin and the screw. The side with the two pieces, your, uh, your ignition will go on there. It slides into the uh, pins here, slide into that, so that when the weights pull it around, why it, it uh, does the ignition. So now we've got our ignition on there. We've got this on there correctly. Put your uh, fiber washer on first, your little metal washer on then and the little keeper goes to hold it all in place the secret here being that's in there good and tight and the top is down into the groove and no play it's got to turn free we greased up that post before we put this on there so that this is going to turn free now we're going to put just a little light amount of grease onto our lobe Grease it down, then wipe it off, uh, which will keep from wearing our points out when we set our points onto the uh, onto the car. Next, you have to bolt on your uh, your housing, your outer housing, because the points are actually sitting in a plate that rides upon here. Um, before you put your housing on. Make sure that your tabs that are holding your plate on the front are on the car, or on the housing rather, and this is ready to go. Now the two holes, the two holes are up for the uh, belt to go through, and if you were putting this together, you would make sure that your belt was on before you did this. You would uh, put your belt on, and uh, then you would set this on there. Now we're just gonna lightly put this all in place to show you how the rest of it, because we'll be taking it back off to uh, to put the uh, the belt on later. But we're just showing you how to set up your uh, how to set up your ignition. Now you've got all this on there. You've got your bolts in, and you would have uh, we'll put one screw on to uh, tighten it down so it won't move. But it's a pretty tight fit, so it's not going anywhere. Now your your plate, you've uh, you can install your uh, your points. Put in a new set of points. Make sure that you've got the the insulators to the bottom. See how this one is actually touching. Now, if that touched like that, that would not that would not work because you your would do. But the end of the insulator fits down against the bottom, which uh, keeps this from getting down and doing off. This insulator is uh, 
kind of bad so that you got to be really careful with that bolt when you're tightening it up because if that head of that bolt goes down and hits the the, the uh, frame then you've shorted out and and the motor won't run now we're ready to set this on here we're uh, we're lining up here this is how this goes in right there and this goes right over here uh, our holes are lined up pretty decent there everything is looking pretty good right there let's get our bolts and we'll start start our three bolts in and once we get these bolts started in we'll uh, pull out the number one uh, spark plug uh, and the reason for doing that is we'll be pulling that out to find uh, top dead center so that uh, we'll be able to uh, set set the points and uh, and the timing uh, from years of experience I can tell you that when you just cover up the back of the plate there where the hole is see where the groove is cut out there when you cover that up just barely by the head of that all the way around you can see we're just barely covering that up that will be close enough that the car will actually start right there that's uh that'll be that won't be that won't be perfect timing but that'll be close enough that it it would start and run right there we'll tighten that down okay yeah, we're going to pull out the number one spark plug up here. The number one is the spark plug closest to back here. We'll pull out that number one spark plug. We will insert something down in. And, well, we don't have our... Well, I'm turning the flywheel. Uh, we want to bring this top... This, this to top dead center. When that's on top dead center... The points on the left-hand side will be the points that we're going to set because they will be the points that that are for number one. The first cylinder to you toward the back of the car is uh, the points to the left. We'll uh, we'll loosen that up and get a points gauge. Sixteen to eighteen thousandths is, uh, or point uh, four, uh, which is uh, about sixteen thousandths, is what we'll set uh, this set of points on. Um, My screwdriver may be a little big for my. Right there. After you set them, go back and recheck to make sure it didn't pull it tight. So right there will be our uh, our point setting for number one, and that'll have that in the uh, uh, correct position because actually the points open twice going around. So to know that you've got it correctly, bring number one cylinder to top dead center, and at top dead center it'll be sitting right up on the top of the lobe because it actually fires like four points of a millimeter. See it fires right there at the number one. So then to Set number two, we would run that piston all the way down, which will bring the other piston, the other uh, number two, all the way to the top. So we would do the same thing over here. We would back our screw off or just kind of snug it a little bit. And uh,
set it on uh, 0.4 millimeter or 16 thousandths according to which gauge you've got. Don't have it quite tight enough yet. Just about right, lock it down. You're now ready to uh, fire the car.